Oh dear. Hi, everybody. Welcome. We are going to give you all a chance to get in and get settled. There were about 50 people in the waiting room, and we have more that are still joining. Um, so, Carly and I are here and hanging out today, whether you are with the Cotter Group and using Bridge, whether you're with Agency Zoom, or whether you're, I don't sit want to say that we have favorites, Charlie, but one of our favorites probably would be those mutual users. So, nice to have you all here. There might be a few of you who are just getting back from lunch. I'm going to give you guys a chance to get settled, get comfortable, and then we will start here shortly. So, thank you guys. All right, everybody, it looks like is pretty well settled. Not as many people dropping into the meeting anymore. Oh, I say that and then we just get two more. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and go and I'm going to do my best to keep an eye on things. So I'm going to resume sharing. Again, my name's Kat. I'm with Agency Zoom. Excited to bring you the partnership after a lot of work from our engineering teams. Uh, Charlie and I get all the glory <laughs> and the face. -time. Absolutely. <laughs> but excited to be bringing this partnership to you guys. Um, this is pretty heavily requested from our agency base, um, which I think is a good thing for Charlie and I because we had been bullying each other at conferences now for what, last four years or so? We yeah, about four. We've been going like this at conferences for a little while now, giving each other a hard time. Um, we are both Orange Partners with Vertifor. We both work with Hawksoft. Um, so we come across each other very often. Um, and we come with agencies who are either using both of us or are using one of us and wanting to know the pros and cons of working with the other. Um, so we're going to get into intro to people, Charlie and myself, uh, shared values, why we chose to integrate. Then we're going to go through a demo, thanks to one of our agencies for allowing us to use their account. And then we'll go through you guys' questions. And we're going to try to keep it all to about 30 minutes of interrupting your lunch breaks. So, Charlie, I'm guessing that half the people know you and half the people know me. So do you want to share a little bit more about yourself than what I might share? Better, better you than me. <laughs> yeah. I'll be happy to. So uh, welcome, everybody. I'm Charlie Griffin, Chief Sales Officer at the Cotter Group. Um, I got my start uh, in this in the telephone business 31 years ago. Uh, yes, 31 years ago. So uh, I had a company that was doing voice over IP called Blue Wave for the insurance space uh, back in the mid to, you know, 2010 through 2018 when I merged with the Cotter Group. Uh, to fold up under the bridge umbrella here at the Cotter Group. But so I've been working in, in y'all space uh, quite happily for what, 11 years now. Uh, but the telephone space has been, you know, way, way back since 1990, as a matter of fact. So that's who I am, where I am. We're based in Atlanta, Georgia, if you don't know where we are. Um, all of the Cotter Group is here in Atlanta. Uh, we do have one foreigner that uh, we consider family in Canada, um, but he's okay. But the rest of us are all local, homegrown folks uh, here, and all we do is work in the independent insurance space. Don't sell to uh, real estate agents in the masses, so we're just tightly focused here uh, and love the distribution channel. So happy to, to be a part of this with Cat and Agency Zoom, and uh, hopefully you guys are going to see some interesting concepts that at first will probably look like we're both lunatics, um, but at the end of this, hopefully you'll walk away with a, with a good idea of why we're doing this. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, Charlie mentioned that he's been in the industry for a little bit. Um, I can't say that I have quite as many miles um, on the tires as Charlie. He's definitely been an amazingly supportive resource as I go to conferences and trade shows and can't set up my booth or he's done great over the years about bringing me a water when I look like I'm about to pass out. Um, so I've been in insure tech now for the insurance space, at least now, uh, going on probably like seven years, um, insure tech, direct to agencies, stuff to support you guys, um, for the last five. And all of that's been in the independent agency space, which is where Charlie and I crossed paths before he had even joined the Cotter group and brought Blue Wave, you know, together with Bridge. I joined Agency Zoom in late 2019. I started as our Vice President of Sales and now have all of our minions that interact with you guys um, are part of my little cluster. Uh, so I oversee our marketing, sales, customer success, 
and customer support. We have bifurcated those customer success and customer support teams to better support our agencies. Our customer success is meant to be strategic. And I'm sharing this with you in case you're not familiar with agencies, you are, um, but haven't got to spend a lot of time with this yet. Our customer success team is there to proactively help you, train you, dig into the little details, all the nooks and crannies of Agency Zoom and how to make it better. Um, our customer support team is there to help you with things like this integration. Let's say you start working on it and you run into just a technical little snafu, something really simple and easy to address. That's what the customer support team is for. So again, if you guys are asking questions as we go through this or wondering why Charlie and I have teamed up as two CRMs um, and complete knuckleheads together, it's not just because he brings me water or finds me beer. Um, we have some really great use cases amongst the teams that are even present today. Charlie, do you wanna share a little bit more about even your Cotter Group team and your guys' beliefs around the independent agency channel? Yeah, so, um, you know, we've been doing work since 1996 with the independent channel. Obviously, that's long before I was part of the Cotter Group. But, you know, as we've built Bridge out over the last three years, particularly, you know, we've tried to encompass as much as we could uh, into an agent's life in one platform, right? The holy grail of just give me one place that I can do everything. And we all know that it doesn't actually exist yet. For sure. So where we were looking at was still trying to keep an agent the ability to be personal, but still be highly techno you know, technologically advanced. And if you're a bridge customer, you kind of know the philosophy. And if you're not, then you know we're not trying to be the number one supplier of any one single point of what we do. You know, I don't want to be the DocuSign. I don't want to be Salesforce. I don't want to be agency Zoom. What we wanted to be is looking at our customer base and taking, you know, out of if you go to Salesforce, what's 90% of the things that you use every single day, we built those into Bridge. So we're really, you know, of the mindset of giving people options, right, to use different products. And we don't take offense to somebody graduating from Bridge to a to a different CRM or you know, needing DocuSign instead of our e-signature system or Zoom instead of our video system. So we we really wanted to be the, you know, the tech of the masses, right? You know, the blue collar kind of, I get almost everything done, I'm the shovel and just dig, you know, and we can dig a hole and if you need a, you know, a, a valley dug, then, you know, you need to rent a, a bulldozer and a, and a big backhoe. And that's our philosophy to how we build the product and then philosophically, in terms of what we're trying to do, you know, to your customer base is make it less stressful to have to think about how I want to communicate with my prospects or my insurers. You know, people do things differently these days, particularly post 2020, right? Where, you know, I don't need to worry if they want to do video or live chat or they want to text or they want to call that we enable them to have those communication uh, systems available in one place and then interact with your insureds, you know, however they want to and not, you know, a lot of tech traditionally has forced, you know, the consumer, me, you, the agency to use it in a way that it was designed to use and only in that way and outside of that box, then it didn't do what it was supposed to do. And so that's our, philosophical stance on, you know, why do we do so many things? Convenience, one platform, easily, you know, make it easy and quick. Um, but then also to take some of the burden off of, you know, you as an owner of having to worry about, am I reaching the right people the right way? I love that. I think the space that you shared there too, about you guys covering a wide swath of functionality, which is all, you know, extremely important to an agency owner, um, but not going super deep, you know, not being a shovel, not a backhoe, <laughs> um, lends itself as a good analogy to our partnership. So as agency Zoom, you're frequently very agnostic. What email you guys use, what agency management system you choose to use, what VoIP provider you guys choose to use is all something that we want to support. Uh, we've now worked with over 6,700 agencies. We bring on about 200 new agencies a month. So 
the things that we hear and constantly receive feedback on is that our average everyday agency, somebody that maybe Charlie has been supporting for years or somebody who hasn't had the opportunity to learn about the Cotter Group and Bridge, um, that you're overlooked as a small local business owner. You don't matter to DocuSign. You don't matter to um, Verizon or you know 8x8, Dialpad, the big guys in the space. Or they maybe do care. You know, Maybe you guys are on that edge that they do start to care, but they don't understand the daily life of being an insurance agent. Um, Adam Cotter was an insurance agent, correct, Charlie? And you've been in right. insurance years. To have the ability, as maybe the backhoe of the industry, <laughs> the people that really get into the little details, to partner with another person that points you guys in the right direction, establishes a high integrity relationship, and truly understands your business model is something that we've heard from our agencies only continues to provide value. So even though we do share some core functionality around CRM capabilities, um, we feel like being united even uh, with our agency management systems that we're, you know, great supporters of, um, helps you guys make better decisions. You know, I'm kept more honest that when I have 200 agencies sign up a month and some, some of them are maybe uh, overachievers, <laughs> they may believe their time um, is better spent and their tech truly really is. When somebody comes to me and says, Pat, I just overshot it here. You know, I wrote a check, my book can cash. I can take them and say, well, Charlie could do a lot for you and your staff's probably going to like you a little bit more for it than throwing them in the deep end of the pool when they're not ready to swim yet. So there's a lot you guys are going to see that yes, feels probably very common, but as you start to think about the strategy behind using either of the tools or um, like our team here, Luke, um, he's with RLP Insurance. He's actually one of the owners over there. Um, teams like Luke, uh, some of our other beta, te beta testing agencies, Oliver, the Bailey family, Bill Katman, um, you guys all testing it. Um, what they came to us and said is, there's a lot in Bridge that I really love. My e-sign, my video, um, even some of the little tiny follow-up tasks, super helpful. But there's also I love a lot I love in agency Zoom. We know it's a Venn diagram in our functionality and in our user base. Some of you guys are gonna use both because you find benefits to each. And some of you guys now can be better supported in making the right decision. Maybe think it's not the right time for agency Zoom because we're too overwhelming. Uh, maybe you have outgrown Bridge, like Charlie said. It happens and we want to best support you guys and support the independent agency base. You know, that's what we're entirely focused on. So Charlie, any color that you want to add to that before we get into a demo around our tech stack? Just a tad. So you know, and, and it goes a little bit beyond graduating, you know, which is great. It uh, philosophically, we've talked to each other about this. Of we're trying to make this where you, as an owner, don't have to make an all or nothing decision with your tech, right? That yeah, I may outgrow, or I may just not like agency Zoom because it's blue, and I like orange, and you don't have to lose data and functionality. You know, because I came at this from looking at what what is it like to move from AMS 360 to Epic, and everybody has su it's such a major ordeal that as part of this integration was to give people flexibility to not have to go through the pain and suffering of throwing every you know one vendor out just to get another one. That data could sync back and forth and be you know integrated like we're doing here, and you, it will just give you some freedom of choice. So, yeah, I love it. Show us what you got, Kat. Awesome. All right. Well, special thanks to one of our agencies. They are, oopsie, how do I get out of this? Escape. So there we go. Special thanks to one of our agencies who is letting me play around in their account. I put my real information in here. So Charlie and I are being very brave salespeople today. Uh, we're going to do a live demo. Uh, so I've added myself in this account and you'll notice um, on that lead there, which is cat test, um, automation is immediately available. And this is one of those areas that agency Zoom lives a much different life um, than uh, Bridge. So we pre-build your guys' automation. You can see that these two are triggered from me adding myself a little earlier for this team. Uh, and that is dependent upon a lot of different levers. Your leads type, personal or commercial, life and health. Your lead source, is it inbound, is it outbound, is it Facebook or website? Um, there's 
uh, numerous amount of details. We have tag management and such in here. Um, there's just a lot. So again, this might be too much depth. This might be overkill. It might be something you, to Charlie's point, you might just like orange better. Uh, totally fine. Uh, so that's our system and some of the ways that you'll see it works. We have automation in here. So this team, if I had added the lead yesterday, um, today, automatically a text would have gone out. We have no interest, guys, in becoming a VoIP. Uh, so when we talk about the partnership and not abandoning one piece of tech for another, I have no plans to ever go do what Charlie did for years in building out Blue Wave. Not a shot, not going there right before you guys all join. We talked about some of the upcoming changes that he's prepping for. Guys, I need no more upcoming changes. I have no interest in doing that. So we're going to continue. <laughs> like the bridge team. Uh, that said, we can make sure that tomorrow an automated text goes out. A few days after, another follow-up text goes out. And one of the things that's really interesting in our space, to Charlie's point, even in making vendor solutions, I want you guys to be able to make the same choices around your vendor solutions as you do about interacting with your customers. It doesn't have to be all or nothing when you create campaigns and sequences here. Yes, it certainly can be. If Kat says, you know, please don't pester me, we could turn something off right here. But we also can iterate. So having an agency that is multi-generational, where one of your producers or even some of your customers aren't comfortable with texting, we can turn some of these things off. Maybe they don't want to be emailed, or maybe we know that on the second they said they'd be out of town. That iterative nature that we're encouraging you guys to adopt with your vendor management is the same thing that we want to provide for your customer management. I don't want this to be um, a one-track mind. I'd like to see that become more universal. And then you're going to have things like off-the-cuff conversations that you'd like to send a text out. Um, you guys can have templates in here. You guys can write whatever you want in this space. Or you'd like. You guys can add attachments. This is something that because we're not a VoIP, we're able to adopt this a little bit more agnostically. Um, our attachments aren't throttle. They're not, um, I'm trying to think of a good word, Charlie. They're not constrained by the service providers or the recipients even. Let's say they're using AT&T instead of Verizon. I can put a PDF on here. I can host it in a totally different manner um, than what Charlie has to do because he's a VoIP. Now by us partnering together, suddenly really simple things become a lot easier to share and to send over. And this is the type of stuff then that goes into Bridge still. It goes into your agency management system because I, whether you guys are know it or not, um, both companies have really great integrations with most of the major agency management systems. So multimedia text, sending over PDFs. I just got the text um, to my phone. You guys might have heard it chirp through. If I respond, it immediately goes in here. This is all going back and forth um, into your bridge ecosystem too. If I want to place a call right now, see? Bridge makes success call, so if I had Bridge here, it would immediately pop up and start calling cat test. There's a lot of really cool stuff that we can do. Automation being the above and beyond, the area that you may grow into and that we certainly excel. Day-to-day um, -day task management, something where you know Charlie and I look kind of similar. Just calls and texts being sent out off the cuff. We're a little more alike there, and you might not need agency Zoom. You're certainly gonna need Charlie and a really awesome VoIP to do that because we're not going there. It's not our forte. Um, so yeah, there's a lot in here that you guys can look through. It is our intention over time to continue expanding it. So you guys can see kind of a whole plethora of tasks up here like scheduling. Um, we have our phone calls and emails, attaching documents. We also plan to do video chat, um, which I'm sure you guys know a really awesome video chat provider and really awesome signature provider. So it's our plan to keep going further with these integrations. But this is a really great area to show at least the initial competency for that. And through great tech vendors come clean integrations, things that are simple for you guys to manage. So in here, we come in, you guys can have your agency management systems on, um, and then we get into your actual bridge integration. And we do a lot for you guys to be able to route it. So we have a mobile app. Charlie, your team has a mobile app too, correct? We do. Charlie has a mobile app. So when you guys are on the go and your team has this downloaded, you're going to still get the call notifications that a customer called you back. Um, we can SMS forward. So maybe you have some producers that while they've started doing texting, you're not really comfortable with them using their own personal phone line, albeit you'd like them to respond to customers in a timely manner. We can forward into different phone lines. 
So we just give you a little more expansion on the tactics, like automation, and then a little bit more wiggle room in your execution. Again, because I don't have the same obligations in the backfield as the quarterback here, Charlie, has around being an exceptional boy. Charlie, if I pass demo over to you, could you share with the team what it looks like over on Mark's side with those texts going back and forth, and then show them kind of the same sure. stuff, send a text and do some follow-up and bridge? Yeah, be happy to. I'm gonna stop sharing and you should be able to share. And guys, I know all right. we'll hold those to the end and we can always come back in. So as Kat uh, was talking about well said that you know the automation and things that are happening, you know, what where we're trying to go with what we're doing is to give you guys the best of both worlds and that you don't have to switch apps, you know to text you don't have to leave bridge to text and have it recorded with agency zoom you don't have to leave agency zoom to go to bridge to send your text messages because the two sync back and forth with calls you don't have to leave you know, it's all about leaving one app to go to another and the inefficiency and frustration that comes with that so that's why we tied these particular things together with calling and texting first uh, you know, lots of things are on our agenda to tie together, whether it's eSign or other items. But you can see on the screen here, this is the text message that the cat just sent from her product, from Agency Zoom, and it showed up in Bridge. And so, you know, there's the picture that she sent, and I can respond back to that. I can add my own attachments, pictures, things of that nature through here as well. And then that will transfer back over there. And you have this two-way communication process going. So <laughs> there we go. Now we're, hi, Charlie. So you can see too, as well, that's very, very fast. Um, but it's not any more magically elaborate. It's a text message, right? And it's just that stream. But what we heard was it was a, it was a nuisance to our customers and agency Zoom customers alike, and or there were other phone companies that didn't integrate or do it well. And it was this, you know, what was the problem we were trying to solve? The, it, the irritation of going from one app to another and both the apps not talking to each other. So you're not really having a source of truth because they're writing these to the lead cards, right? Yeah, so that, that'll go back into, Agency Zoom is a you know a record of an event that is there to always be you know exported to your management system, whether it's from Agency Zoom or Bridge, doesn't matter. Um, they if you're a Verta4 customer, they all end up in the same place. Uh, so that's really sweet right there. So you can see that particular instance, and then you know here's one that Mark sent um, that was uh, a link to uh, I think this is going to be probably like uh, auto ID cards. It uh, could be an e-sign document that somebody needs to sign that you can send the e-sign to their mobile phone and it would put it out as a link like that and they do their sign and it comes back in as a text to then download and, and move around. So that's without being a bridge demonstration, you know, basically if you don't print it on paper, you do it in bridge and there, you know, we have our automation, um, but it's more uh, geared at, I have a very specific type of automation I want. I want X and I want Y. And it does X and Y really, really well. When you want to split underneath the hood and go tell me what happened to X because of Y and upside down, left and right, that's not our forte, right? And then that's where we go. We have a partner that you can, can move that data through to do that. Um, again, so our information that we provide, the reporting is what you would call owner level, right? Very, you know, it's what's happening in my agency, how many X's and how many Y's. And then, you know, we leave it to the other folks out there like uh, Cat's group to go, well, here's how many Y's there were. Tell me why, why did what? I, we, you know, that's not our forte. We can do some of that, but not um, way down in there. But then like the calls that get made, you won't see any here um, for me, but like from the agency, you know, these happen outside, you know, you click inside of Agency Zoom and we'll record that right here for you. Agency Zoom will record it as an activity as well, but we'll give you the ability here to not have to leave another app to make that call to a client or prospect 
and have it recorded, have that as a documentable you know, area right there. And that's kind of where we're going is the reason we did this together because you can see, you know, pipeline forms, things of that nature. We cross over there, right? Um, and some good, some bad, some indifferent. Uh, but our point of it was we didn't see each other as competitors in the sense of being able to come to the agent market and say, look, these two things can play together and you don't have to make an all or nothing choice and you, you don't have to use a big box store for your voice over IP that doesn't know the market, you know, even though they're a $27 billion company and have resources I don't ever have, um, they're not part of the, the ecosystem, right? And so that's Bridge. And what Bridge does uh, really, really well, it does really, really well. What we don't do well, we work on or say you need to go to Agency Zoom and pick that up from them. Um, and that's our integration. So mostly text messaging so that you do, it's always in sync. And there's Raymond. Hey, Ray. So what Ray did was send a message to this phone number up here in the left, because with Bridge, all your direct phone numbers that are your real phone numbers are your texting numbers. So that's probably important to say, because um, non-phone type companies can't give you your real number. They'll have to get a, a subordinate number that you can forward to and do some things there. So this makes a nice, nice addition to your branding to be able to advertise texting as your actual agency number that's on your website and things like that. And then back to the point is then this can transition into Brit and from Bridge to Agency Zoom. And now from Agency Zoom, if you're a Bridge customer, you can use your real phone numbers to do your texting from instead of a third party number that's you know kind of spoofed to, to folks not know who you are. So that's really fast. And I know we're trying to keep the time down, but in general, that's the concept guys is Together, the two products together put you in a position that you've covered, besides your management system, you've covered everything you need in this market space, um, besides having an AMS. Uh, and separately, we can still work together, even if one doesn't make sense to the other in contracts and things, to keep you from having to flip places uh, quite so often. So. Absolutely. Um, I think you called out something that's really important too, Charlie, the fact that we are supporting voice, you know, your calls right now and text is our first iteration. Our plans, like I said, is to keep going further into e-sign and video for you guys into, I think we're planning like late fall right now, right, Charlie? That's where we've kind of roadmapped it for everybody. Right. Um, late fall, we're going to come back and we're going to keep working on e-sign and then video chat like what we're on today. Um, but to Charlie's point, in the meantime, whether you're sending the text from agency Zoom because of automation, whether your service team is in here and using Bridge, it's going to go into the two. So there's Raymond who's playing around. He's using his real number. Uh, we go back into agency Zoom. We can see the text that Charlie sent out from Bridge is already in here um, on my cat test one. Somebody asked about images, JPEGs, you name it. You guys can do that. PDFs in here, um, PNGs, JPEGs. You guys are able to send all of that. Even GIFs, if any of you guys love sending those goofy little five second videos to your, age, your customers, you can do that through this. So it gives you, again, a little more freedom. And then to Charlie's point two, um, there's some things that we go even further with, but thanks to Charlie's team, thanks to Bridge, um, we can get into activities um, by producer and we can look at um, our activities by month, our activities by lead source. So by looking at using your actual phone line, I can now actually generate a report it says you get this many inbound calls on this lead source at this stage of the game. There's a lot it can build into here. Um, Mark's team places a ton of calls. So this is going to take forever while I'm on a screen share. Forgive me, guys. I'll pull up a little easier of a support, um, report to pull here. Um, but all things considered, super, super helpful, very valuable, um, very exciting to have um, the enemy of my enemy. I don't think that's a fair term, actually, Charlie, but something to that effect, um, you know, two companies that could otherwise fight over it with each other, um, be more involved and more supportive of you guys. You know, like Charlie said, there's a lot we do in common, um, but all things considered, we're more focused on supporting you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and present, but then also pause so that we can take questions. Charlie, did you see any questions come into the chat that you want to take a crack at as we first get started here? 
kind of scrolling through. Um, phone in text is what's integrated right now. Yes, Frank, it is the phone click to dial and the text messaging that is that is there. Um, that's what's baked at this time, correct? Is there a way to combine duplicated text threads? I think I'd have to better understand that. And maybe the person asked a little earlier, Charlie, before they saw it. Um, you guys really shouldn't have duplicates because what's an agency Zoom actually travels through Bridge. We need Bridge to send out the texts or to place the calls. And then you saw like what gets placed in Bridge even if you know a service rep is over in Bridge because that's where they're more comfortable. We have a sales rep you know, over an agency Zoom working on a cross sell. You guys saw that text even sent from within Bridge is still gonna go into agency Zoom. Um, so you guys really shouldn't have duplicates. The two systems do communicate really well in tandem. So you guys probably won't have too many duplicates. And the way ours is designed and it should, you know, uh, be the same in agency Zoom is if I text from my phone number and we've got 12 messages that go and then you delete that message from your system and I text you again, then we'll pull that entire thread back and rebuild it. So much like your phone, your cell phone does where the thread never really dies, uh, we'll continuously keep updating that. And so uh, that's the way that design is supposed to work. Is so you don't have 12 different messages, one from last week, one from this week to get these threads going. We keep those in one um, message, if you will. Um, yeah. See, that one's for me. We ordered that one. Um, does agency Zoom have the ability to drag and drop files to set up a campaign? So that's from Raymond. So I'm guessing he means I've got a pre-built Word document or something that can drag it in and move it into the campaign. Good question, Raymond. Yep, super easily, Raymond. So what happens is you guys have your little card, like what I entered, my cat test. As you move it through the pipeline, you drag and drop it, and then that automation pops up as a preview, and we weren't here yet. Um, happy to meet with you extra. You can check out this video. We'll post it on our bridge landing page. Um, as you guys do that, then you can have automated steps, emails, and texts, like from Bridge. Um, or you can have manual reminder ones. Anything where you guys want to add a very specific attachment, maybe a deck page, IDs, things like that, you guys absolutely can to a text or to an email. We just encourage you then, instead of doing it as an automated one, create it as a task reminder that has the template queued up, but then it does have the producer or the CSR add that attachment on there. It's typically more scalable for your team uh, to not have to rewrite the, you know, bread, the base content and then just put the attachments on there, but it also gives you a chance to vary those attachments. So you absolutely can. Uh, let's see, what else is on here? Uh, text message from Agency Zoom showed up in Bridge and Now Certs showed up as a duplicate in Agency Zoom. Is that the message coming from Now Certs? I sent um, that might be one cat y'all want to just kind of take a look at and copy into a more info offline from RJ. RJ, happy to meet with you on that. It might just be where your prospects versus your customers are at and what data you're sending back and forth. We can definitely help you with that. Uh, Alyssa's the next one. Is there a suggested option for a prospect that you don't write? Should you go with Bridge Drip or Agency Zoom automated campaign? The automated text that, that Zoom highlighted is that used with follow up prospects. Uh, we have a whole section of our product called Smart Cycle where you guys can put in the date that you'd like to be back in touch with that person and you can work forward from when you move them into Smart Cycle or backwards from the date you'd like to be in touch with them. So my brain works in chronological order. I talk to a lot of you guys all day, every day though, and many of you work 30 days before, 45 days before, you know, kind of in reverse, which is totally fine. Um, we can go either way. So that's one where it'd probably be based off of your comfort level and what you're tracking. A lot of our agencies find that it's valuable to use Smart Cycle because your lead source stays with them. If the person re uh, interacts with you again, we can pop them out of automation. Um, Charlie, anything specific that you feel like your guys' follow-up automation does really well that you would encourage to maybe use some follow-up in Bridge? Yeah, it, it, it really is a matter of what you want to do. So back to the beginning, actually, 
if you didn't write this business and your concern is I want to harass them with stuff until they buy from me and or tell me to stop, then we do that very well. And I mean, but if you want to take somebody through a process that if they click A in this email, move them to a different direction, if you want to be really involved in that process, agency Zoom system is better suited for that. But if it's, it's a dead lead, you know, and you can see how my mind works. I didn't write them. I have no business that I don't want to spend resources thinking about this person, cat. And so I'm just going to send her an email and a text, email, text, email, text for the next however, you know, 12 months. If she responds, then I'll move her into a different cycle. Uh, the bridge drip is perfect for that. But if you want to know mid drip or mid automated campaign, you know, who's, getting warm, if you will, uh, that's more of an agency Zoom process than bridge. So sledgehammer, coercive, you know, so it's, if that makes sense, Alyssa, um, they both work in, fundamentally, they both do exactly the same thing. They will send a message of some kind on a predetermined schedule and they both accomplish the same objective. It's a matter of really how much of your mind space do you want to be in with a lead or a non, you know, written account during this process? It's a great question though, because as you can see, it doesn't make any difference other than what do you want to accomplish? And you can go either direction based off of that. Hey, yeah, that's a really good way to put it, Charlie. You know, if you're gonna check back in on some of your leads that are on the back burner part of the way through and make some decisions of maybe deciding to rework them early and stuff like that, that's where we do really well. If you're like, I just wanna set it and forget it, you know, we might be overkill and we might, require too much of your time and attention and Charlie's team is going to be a lot easier to use and a lot more friendly on that regard for you. So that's a really great one. Thank you, Alyssa. Um, had a private question come in, Charlie. Um, had a team ask, my agency has Bridge and a standalone Zoom account. What's the value of agency Zoom? Um, it, I, you might be confusing um, agency Zoom with Zoom meetings. We are on a Zoom meeting right now, a video chat, which Bridge does do. Um, and then agency Zoom is a employee enablement tool, and then we're a little bit of a CRM. So we're really helping you guys figure out what tasks are the best use of your team's time, getting them laser focused in on those tasks. And some of those are gonna be phone calls, some of those are gonna be manual texts, um, all the automated stuff we're gonna be doing in the background. And then we're gonna put you as the agency owner in a more informed decision-making position. Um, so you might be a little bit confused there, um, I can't imagine right now if your agency has bridge and you have a standalone agency zoom account why you wouldn't integrate them I think the two now that we have an integration work really really well together um, we have quite a few agencies on today that helped us beta test it we're really grateful to those teams I think the reason Charlie can you think of any reason why the teams wouldn't want to actually integrate the two if they already have them both and they're just hanging out solo no, if, if I mean, if you have both agency Zoom and Bridge, it's a, you know, there's no reason not to turn that integration on. Um, absolutely not. It's, it has no downside, only an upside. So. Awesome. Wanted to make sure I wasn't forgetting something weird. Um, any of our no? agencies, if you have something to share on that, uh, feel free to chat it to me or Charlie privately and we can always share with the group. Um, we had yeah. Bailey ask, are we going to be able to have the recorded phone calls in both Bridge and Agency Zoom at some point? Um, and then he said, when eSign and video integration is going, you guys are changing the whole game. Y'all are amazing. Mark, you're great. Thanks so much. Um, I think the plan is to continue bringing over more data back and forth. This is an MVP, if you guys have ever heard of that before. It's a minimum viable product. Uh, this is where we're starting because Bridge has so many capabilities. And there's areas that they've built out for you guys to support you as agency owners that we haven't gone in yet, like eSign and like video chat. Um, so yeah, there's some things even like the call recordings and how we store those that we're thinking of those as bigger tech stack decisions of where we store and how we route. Um, so yeah, I think the plan long term would be obviously to get there. Right now, your call recordings will still be in Bridge. Mark Bailey's a whiner. Um, yeah. Probably complaining down on the next chat already. Mark, this is why everyone's meeting is He on. probably is. He's probably on Facebook now. Uh, Frank is asking a question, um, second, about uh, 
sending documents back and forth, sort of a portal. Does Bridge do that? Yes. And I want to uh, show and screen share. Uh, absolutely, Bridge does that as well. So we have a full video screen share recording system, much like we're using here today. Um, but, you know, it was not designed to be a, a webinar system, Frank. It was designed as a sales tool. So you could only have eight people at a time on the Bridge video conference, but you can screen share, show a proposal. That's what we preach for anyway, particularly in the commercial space. Don't get up and drive. I got this long document. We walk through it one by one. I make changes in real time. We look and talk to each other. We get it right. And then when it's done, I put it in the e-sign system and send it off to you or whatever you need to do at that point. So absolutely can do that with, within Bridge. Love that. Um, Frank asked, and I'll start because mine's the most lightweight of the two answers. He also asked, where does the doc get stored? In agency Zoom, if you guys add an attachment, it gets stored with us. And then depending on what agency management system you guys are using, it also will pass it over to them for your long-term E&O. Um, depending on where you send it, if you send it through, if you send a document through a text, we also pass that document then over to Bridge. Um, Charlie, I'm sure you have a lot more to elaborate there because you guys are doing e-sign and have a lot more document storage too. Yeah, but it's the same basic answer. We, if, if you send something through Bridge, it will be stored with Bridge, obviously for your retrieval. Uh, every document that's on our system, whether it's a voicemail or a e-sign document is stored with 200, with 256 bit encryption. So we have no vulnerability to your documents being hacked directly. So they're always encrypted when we have them. Um, you know, when they're in transit, you know, we do the best we can, but the open internet's the internet, right? Um, so yeah, but same thing. And then with as far as moving into the management system, uh, if you move it to your management system, you can delete it from Bridge and, you know, if you want to, or leave both as a backup. Uh, so somebody asked, and I think it'll actually dovetail pretty well with Frank's follow-up question. Um, Alyssa asked, what communication is there between agency Zoom and AMS 360? Um, our integration with AMS 360, and for that matter, QQ and now certs, is completely live and bi-directional. So any lead that you add to agency Zoom is in those um, uh, agency management systems as well. Any customer that's in those agency management systems that you want to enter into some retention, some onboarding automation, you want to send them happy 4th of July, um, that's all available in Agency Zoom, can all be queued up. I just worked with a lot of teams this morning actually on their 4th of July stuff, and it'll go out on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it's a mixture of emails and texts and all kinds of stuff. Um, from there, even the little activities, every text, every phone call, and every email that is sent through Agency Zoom on QQ and AMS 360, it's logged as a task in those two platforms. So you guys don't have to manually batch those through. Um, we just go ahead and take care of that for you again from an e &O standpoint. Um, and then following through with Frank's portion, store the PDF in Agency Zoom, review using Bridge, and then send to AMS. Um, on our side, you wouldn't have to send that um, PDF from Agency Zoom into the AMS is because we do that on your behalf, Frank. That said, if you get a signature on it from Bridge, Charlie, what's your guys' process? Does it go over instantly or do you have them go ahead and send it over to keep things tidy? Uh, it's uh, to keep it tidy, we do a one click send. So um, just one moment, please. The, oh. um, yeah, because usually the, uh, the ability to actually identify an e sign document with a particular client because it's just going out is you know unknown email address sometimes potentially we let the customer actually click okay where does it go because it may go to the matched phone number or email but it could be in reference to a different account so instead of it bridge we don't automatically send anything to your management system okay so this is a philosophical difference cat and i we've talked about we have forever we give our customers you know you click and it'll go uh if you don't click it's not going to go that way you can control the data. Um, and I think it makes sense for us to do it that way, whereas they may not because we have so much more communications in bridge that 
I mean, I'm, I've got your phone calls, right? So you're talking to your children, your wives, your friends. You don't want that automatically moving to a management system or having to deal with it. So ours is easy. It's just one click to your Vertifor and you know, Hawksoft products, and that'll and that should get you know an activity created in those systems. Yeah, that helps. And guys, you're not going to probably talk to your husband, your wife, your kids, your parents. You're not going to do that in agency Zoom. We are more focused on the leads and your prospects and your insured. So that's a really great use case too, Charlie, and a good point as to why they have you guys do. It's just one click. It's nothing crazy. Um, more follow-up from Melissa. So a prospect entered into Bridge Zoom automatically into the agency management system. In our system, in most cases uh, for the agency management systems, yes, we are able to automatically put that prospect into your agency management system. Um, RJ actually brought up a good point though, Alyssa, depending on which one you're at, um, RJ's had a little bit of difficulty here. So he said the bi-directional is great, but that is what creates duplicates for us. Goes from agency Zoom to bridge, which means you're integrated. Great job, RJ. <laughs> Bonus points. Agency Zoom to now search. And then from Bridge to now starts, and from now starts back to Agency Zoom. RJ, you probably just need to hang out with Charlie and I and decide what your flow is. My encouragement would be based off of where you're getting your leads from. If you're getting a lot of your leads through uh, referral partners, uh, your website, and they're not inbound calls, you should probably start those prospects in Agency Zoom. And then, as you've seen, we'll put them in Bridge for you, and we can put them in now starts. So using a single point of entry would better serve you. Same as if you're getting a lot of inbound calls because you have awesome SEO and people call you right off the website, you should probably start that person in Bridge, take them into an agency Zoom, and either have them take Bridge into now certs or operate in chronological order. So we probably just have to look at your process and help you tidy up a little bit, which Charlie, not to twist your arm, but you'd be happy to meet with him too? Yeah, we can do that because um, we're, making sure what we're talking about because we don't move any data at all to now search. So um, somewhere in here, there's something we got going that we're crossing some lines. So absolutely. <laughs> any now search teams um, that are with Agency Zoom and Bridge, we can always do a special webinar for you guys too, especially if we sort yeah. of whatever kind of nonsense RJ's coming up with. So, and thank you, RJ, shameless plug. All you need is Bridge, Agency Zoom, and now search. Um, you're great. We appreciate it. Y'all are wonderful. Um, I'm